Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. Today's Mother's Day, so we have a special product that we're going to install on the Jeep Wrangler Black Bear today, and that's because that's what Bobby wanted. I finally got the Sunrider for a Freedom Panel Hardtop. Sunrider for a Hardtop by Best Top is going to be installed right now, right here on the 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Black Bear. Only because today is Mother's Day, and it's, it's for her. It's for her. <laughs> So, let's get started. Y'all ready? Uh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the freedom panels off. Bobby is currently soapy washing all of the weather strip. And then after that, we'll rinse them off. We'll let them dry for a minute. And then we'll move on with our insulation. The insulation shouldn't be that bad. They actually say it's going to take about an hour to install. So what we need to do is do the left side first. And in the rears, we're going to cut a slight notch up and lower on both sides. But this insulation is going to be a little bit different because we have the JK Any uh, little thingy majigger right here. And, well... Don't know how that's gonna work out, but I, I honestly think it's gonna work out really really good because then she can open the top and have her nini and be slightly shaded. I don't know, but we're gonna find out right here on Bubba's Garage. So mm -hmm. definitely stay tuned. <laughs> so I figured while Bobby was cleaning up the seals, I would go ahead and cut the holes in the rear for our bolt stuff. And I don't think it's really that bad. If you just press on it and fill it, you'll actually feel the little indention in it. And you just you just need to just cut a little notch. I'll do it on the other side. Just try not to cut your finger. We got our cuts in place. Now we have to install the channels on the actual Jeep. One of the things I wanted to point out is these little rubber seals. Ours definitely came, uh, un, it, it wasn't fully secure, so you definitely probably want to check your seals and, and make sure they're all pushed in there, Lined that kind of right. stuff. Yeah, because it, it, it wasn't fully stuck on, and the tips the video corners. talked about that, and I'm glad we watched the tips video because, yes. the, yeah. Some yep. of the corners were kind of pulled up a little bit, just have to push them back down. Yep. But yeah, they look great. I got them all pushed in. So you're ready, I think I have the right hand, the right side, I think. I think so. I'm not going to lie, the instructions said certain part numbers check. One goes on the left, one goes on the right. But the part, part numbers, numbers are, different. are different. They don't actually match what's in the instructions. But I we use the little Best Top logo right there to kind of figure it out. And uh, I think we're going to be good to go. Yep. So I'm going to do the left hand side. Bobby's going to do the right hand side. And this shouldn't take but just a couple minutes. Well, Bobby is kind of ahead of me. And uh, she's probably going to be wrong on that side. Uh. So apparently I picked the difficult side. I double checked her side. It looks pretty good. This side is, is it's causing us a little bit of problem. So I think we figured out what the problem was. And when I cut this slat in here, it actually worked out really well. I mean, I just cut a slat, right? No big deal. But the thing is, is when you start pushing the screwdriver through the top, then you push on this, then the fabric goes that way. So your cut is kind of slightly moved a couple of millimeters that way. And it kept hitting the fabric. So uh, just cut better notches, I guess. Maybe hold it really, really tight and then cut your notches in it. Like I said, the bottom of the fabric just kept moving. So it was kind of like problematic to get my screw right here. But I think we got that. Now we're going to move on to the next step, I think. I think. Okay. 
So now we have the screwdrivers holding the top in place and keeping it lined up with our holes. Now we're gonna put our mushroom bolts in. We're not gonna firmly tighten them up. We're just gonna get them in and ready to go. But the thing is, is we have the JK Nini top on this. So we kind of need to find the actual little hole for the JK Nini and put it through there. All right guys, we got our mushroom bolts installed loosely. We have them installed. Now we're actually installing the Allen head underneath. And one of the things that a lot of people are complaining about is how hard this is to do. They say that they need to be longer, et cetera, et cetera. Let me just show you something. So just have your partner that's helping you with this project hold both hands clamp it down clamp it if you will pull from the top and push from the bottom it, it just it works easy works easy here now you take the screwdriver out and you add these little bolts through there At this point in time, all of the bolts are loosened. We didn't fully secure any of the bolts except for this little fella right here. Now we're moving on to the additional brackets that secure the actual Sunrider to the actual hardtop right there. These have to be fully, fully tightened up. And well, with the JK Nini Sunshade, it's making it a little challenging to get into the hole. All right, now that the brackets are installed, all we have to do is tighten up and secure the rest of this and then double check our seals. Yep. After that, it's time for a test drive. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, guys, we got everything secured up. Now we're gonna go ahead and close it up. I'm not gonna help Bobby. I'm gonna let her do it herself. And that's, well, that's primarily because she's gonna be doing it herself most of the time anyway. And. By the time I got done, she she she's already got this. She's already got this. The install wasn't actually that bad. We had a few snafus. A few. I a was few. expecting more. We actually had quite a few. And honestly, it isn't that bad. I mean, you got to be careful with the whole cutting and lining things up. But you know what? Honestly, take your time. One out of five bubble thumbs, how many would you give it? You know, I'd probably give it a four. Really? Yes. Four. And you know, I'd probably give it a four too. What are your reasons? Well, there's actually a few reasons. One, the instructions were really they they were yeah, actually they, they were very wrong. Clear. Yeah. I mean, in the end, the instructions were wrong. Another reason is there's some design things about it that I'd like to see changed, like the the latches that go in the front. Metal. Metal on yeah. metal. It's scratching up my paint a little bit, and yeah, I'm, but I'm a little. They're foot metal. You just were but yeah, you know. Uh, the only additional reason I would give it a four is because of price. Honestly, value price for the money, isn't, isn't it's the other very one. expensive. Yeah. But in the end, I think you'd be happy with it. I mean, come on, it got four out of five Bubba Thumbs, and that's pretty good. Yeah, that's I pretty love, good. I love the convenience of just being able to flip a couple latches and throw it back and pull it back. Yeah, I mean, it's great. It's so, really simple to use. I mean, honestly, give it about a week, and she's probably going to be really, really happy with oh, it. Oh, yeah. Right now, it's kind of getting over that hurdle of the install process, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and, and also the price. So it, it, it is it a little is pricey. Steep. It I, is I got to get over that too. Yeah. So we have some future projects coming up really, really soon yes. with the whole Jeep Wranglers. We're not really sure if it's going to be in the winter edition or the Black Bear edition. So definitely yeah. stay tuned. Meanwhile, I'd like to actually say if you haven't noticed, I'm wearing my paracord bracelet. So do me a favor. Check the link in the eye in the sky and or the description down below at bubbasgarage.tv. This is a product that we actually just released just the other day. Yep. I mean, literally just the other day. And we have a ton of actually uh, uh, Jeep stuff. I can't tell you everything. <laughs> so definitely stay tuned. So do me a favor. If you like this video, give us a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you want to stick around and find out what happens next right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody. Good night.